What's up everyone? It's your boy John. Today we're going to be taking a look at something special. A lot of you guys have been asking about iPhones. How does it work with the Android head units? Can you just go a more in-depth look and just walk through the steps of how to get it paired and get it working? Is it wired or wireless, etc.? So let's just let's just dive in right into it. Let's start the Android head unit. So this head unit is by the Sida, but um it would also work for other brands depending on if they have it compatible. Now the first thing is not all head units have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So make sure in the description or wherever you buy it, it's going to have it. Now the one I'm showing right here, I'll put a link down below showing where you can get it if you're interested. So boom, first starting it up, this is the, the side of interface. Now when you want to hook up your iPhone, so this is an iPhone 8 right here, but it works with the 10, 11, 12, 13, S, Mini, SE, doesn't matter. You want to go to Bluetooth. When you go to Bluetooth, you want to pair your phone. So let's just hit search right here. And it's going to be searching and on your phone, you want to go to here, go to Bluetooth. All right, it finds it. So it it pairs through Bluetooth. So I, my head unit, I just called it NSX because that's the car. And you can see right here, it's loading right up. I'll try to get to make sure that sh this is in focus for y'all. But yeah, so this is the iPhone all wireless, all through Bluetooth, no, no Wi-Fi or anything. So what happens is your phone pairs to your, uh, your head unit through Wi-Fi. So it gets a really strong signal and that's how it's wireless and it can display all this information which is beautiful so now if i get a text message or anything i can see it right here i can see who texts me i uh, i use spotify but pandora and whatever you like to use also is there you have your maps so this is the maps it's actually really really fast and really responsive too so maps is generally the most intensive things and you can see I'm in my garage right now and um, it's still picking up signal, it's still no issues here. Um, it's just responsive. Boom, like that, like that. Very responsive. Let me make sure this thing's in focus for y'all. There you go, it's in focus. You can see it's very, very nice, very responsive and just works well. So let's go to the home screen. The home screen is gonna have your maps and like a widget of your media player, food, drinks, and shopping. So right now I have this song play. You can have it playing, great. You can skip to, and this will also work with your steering wheel controls too, if your car has it, or if you have any buttons right here, you hit next, it will, it will all work. Uh, it's very integrated, which is nice. Now we can look at the app drawer. We got phone, music, maps, message, car, and it detects my car as an Acura, which is awesome, um, which is correct. And now playing podcasts, audiobooks, calendar settings, Spotify, and I also have Teams. So whatever application is on your phone, it will um, it will show up here on your thing. So let's say if I had Pandora installed or other applications it will be displayed here it's very nice very easy to do and if you ever want to go back to your original uh, user interface you can just swipe down from the top and then you're back here now the application that i'm using that has all this android auto apple carplay is z-link so this is what makes the magic happen you click on z-link and it's just gonna it's gonna load your iphone and autoplay music so that's great. Now there's two ways to connect your phone. What I showed you guys was called wireless, which is my go-to. You pretty much sit in your car and boom, it is there. So well, let me see if I can demonstrate that right now. So I'm gonna turn off my car, get out of the car kind of thing, just kind of pretend. And then get into the car and um, start the car again. And right now it goes to the last thing I had open, which was the Bluetooth. It sees that my iPhone's connecting, automatically connects. It does have this, this hey, make sure Bluetooth's on, but you can close it because Bluetooth is on. But look at that. You walk into your car and you have Apple CarPlay just like that. It's so beautiful and well integrated. 
Uh, and uh, <laughs> I mean, it. this is kind of sad to say, but using an iPhone is better than using an Android phone on your head unit, which is weird because this is an Android head unit. You would think Android head units and Android phones would talk to each other better. It's not the case. Whoever developed these applications, the software for the head unit, they they tailored it more to an iPhone or it's just more refined or whatever. iPhone has it just good. So if you have an iPhone, you're gonna love Andro uh, the Android head units because it talks, I mean, look at that. It just works so well, it's there. It's, it, let me just kind of go through the U, uh, UI. So usually when you connect your phone to Bluetooth, you only have like these kind of things. But if you have a Apple CarPlay, you can go through your playlist. Um, you can see, you know, this is what I've been listening to, J Jack Harlow. And just, you can hit likes, you know, repeat, shuffle, enter a new radio. It's so useful versus Bluetooth, which is kind of dumb. And all you have is next and skip and maybe the title of the song. But rarely would you get like album art and have all this cool UI stuff you can do. And using GPS on your phone doesn't really compare to using GPS on your head unit. It's just, it's less clutter. You don't have to have a car phone mount. You just walk into your car, phone in pocket, and all this stuff will display. It's actually amazing, and I think you're gonna, you guys are gonna love it. If you guys are, um, you guys have a car that doesn't have Apple CarPlay, it's my favorite modification you can do on a car. The in, the infotainment is so important, and to have that kind of modern touch to it, it's just exquisite. Uh, I have like a, so I had, I went to like a 2018 car. I'm like, okay, it doesn't even have Apple CarPlay. It's so lame. And then I stepped into like the older version of the car in like 20, 2008 and we put the head unit in and I'd rather be in a 2008 car than a 2018 car, like 10 year difference. Just because the infotainment sense is such a big deal. I mean, we already know that electronics advance and the advancements from, you know, 2008 to 2018 is, is should be big. But for some reason, um, even Honda and even... Toyota, sometimes they don't put Android Auto or Apple CarPlay in their 2022 models because of budget savings or whatever. But yeah, the aftermarket scene has you. You can get these units for anywhere from, you know, make, just make sure they have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatible. But you can get them from like 200 to like 300 bucks, which in, in the grand schemes of everything is not that much. Uh, the higher end models could run you probably like 500 for the best of the best the best displays qled ips um better processor and stuff like that but if you're just going to use apple carplay and um you know have like a, a decent eq you can go for the budget ones but the the more expensive you go kind of like the pioneers that cost a thousand or twelve hundred bucks you do get better sound so just keep that in mind i'm going to be linking the this head unit and some of the my recommended head units down below if you guys were interested and it'll mean a lot to me if you guys can smash that like button and really enjoyed watching um just this content on i guess i'm already in spotify but uh, uh if it means a lot if you can go through the that like button, just smash it for me. And just, yeah, again, check out this, the link's descriptions if you're interested because I get a lot of comments on where can I buy these. It's in the description. I got you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll talk to you later.